now we're going to look at a few examples of wellhead equipment. One of the first things you'll do is check for volatile organic compounds or VOCs with a photoionisation detector. This is often referred to as a PID. After turning this on and directing it inside the borehole or attaching it onto the well plug, the device will alert you to the presence of VOCs. Next you'll measure the water level using a dip meter. This is lowered into the borehole and when the water comes into contact with the two points on the probe, it completes the circuit resulting in an audible and visual indication. You'll take three measurements to allow for a precise reading. You may also adjust the sensitivity to allow for condensation or foaming liquids. In areas of contaminated land, you may also use an oil interface meter, which will alert you to the presence of oils floating on top of the water column. You can also use dip meters to detect the base of the borehole. Your dip meter will be graduated to millimetre or centimetre increments. You can check the integrity of your tape by measuring it against a Class 2 European Standard steel measuring tape. It's important to make these checks at least annually to ensure that your tape hasn't stretched over time. You can also buy tapes that are accurate up to ASME standards, which is more accurate than the European Class 2 standard.